Well, good morning guys, how are we? My name's Big Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland and today I'm out bottle digging. Today I'm going to be in this little dump here. We're in a hole right now. Somebody has took the pleasure of digging seven new trenches. Well, many thanks to them because you've just given me a head start this morning. You know what they say, an open hole is a free hole. So, thank you very much. So, let's go and tan this hole and see what we can get and I'll get back to you guys in the first hit. I actually thought this was somebody else that had been digging our dump, but now I'm thinking I'm down to a second, you know, clearly I'm thinking this is one of our boys that have stopped. Let's have a look and see what this is. Jai or Corey, registered Glasgow. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Take that one home, that's the keeper. So, I'm digging down now, down about four feet. I'm going through the crate, the second clay layer. Once I get through that, I'm really hopeful that's where the best finds will be. Always remember that if you're digging a bottle dump, the first clay layer can potentially hold finds, but the second clay layer is normally the oldest. So we'll get through this second clay layer and just see what we get. Well, guys, it's always a good sign when you see one of these broken, but hey ho, it's an AG bar ginger. Broken. I found that quite high up, so I'm hopeful down this hole just in here there's going to be more. I'm widening it slightly. You can see the first clay layer, but yet there's another one underneath this. Well, hard to get down. That's three clay layers. You can see one, there's two, and this, I die it's either the bottom or another clay layer, so we'll just keep digging and see. Well, guys, I'm just going to take you in. I'm not sure you this. It's just right here. I'm not sure if these are gingers or broken cream pots or something like that. See that? Coopers. Oh, I know what that is. That's one Andrew found before. That's a Cooper's Inkwell from Liverpool. It's stuck in there in that clay, so bear with me. I'm going to get it out. Heartbreaking, isn't it? Cooper's Liverpool. Fresh frick cream. Cream pot broken. Let's go again and see if we can get something holy. Well, the next one out is no other than a little Penrace Stinkwell. Check that beauty out. Little Penrace Stinkwell. Been a while since I found one of them. Lovely, one of the more common ones. There you go. Lovely Penrace Stinkwell. Well, guys, we're in the hole again, and this time I've got another bottle coming out. It looks like beer of some sort. Might be a plain one, and it's broken. Nothing on it. Let's have a wee stop and show you some of the stuff that I've pulled out. Found a fraction of a grenade bottle, as I call them. This one here is pretty neat. Look at that, it's a shell. A shell ornament. A uh, little stoneware. It's little juice bottles. This one here is Mer and Dougal. Beer bottle. It's missing its neck, which is a shame. It's hard digging. Uh, I'm getting there, but I'm getting there. I've only been at it an hour now, so back in again. I'm through this third clear away. Uh, <laughs> I get my words all mixed up. I'm knackered. Uh, the third layer of clay I'm through now. So we'll just see if we can get the goods. Well, the next bad boy out is this. Looks like a Kepler bottle green. A nice green Kepler bottle, so we chip out the top, but other than that, nice bottle, nice green Kepler. You see, if any of you guys are ever looking for a bottle dump, this is a rich ash, and it's called red ash. And uh, this is where I think we find a lot of good stuff. Uh, my theory is on this is I've been told that uh, a lot of the bottle dumps they did burning, and this represents burning the orange stuff, and uh, in amongst the orange stuff, wherever I found it, I've always found ginger beer and cods. No cods today, but two ginger beers, so, you know, it's worth persevering with if you ever find a dump like this. This is how you kind of know your layers. You can see your nice orange crusty layers in there, and uh, that's when you know you're on a dump. So, I'll dig it in here. I mean, I'm missing things. There's stuff everywhere in here. I don't know who dug this hole, but it stops at a clay layer about four feet. I'm assuming the second clay layer could be a glory hole. So it might be worthwhile tapping through that one day. 
Oh guys, back in here again. I got another wee bottle. Look at this one. I've never seen one like this before. Bottle made in France. Don't know what it is. Oh, there's something on its side. You know, it's AJ White. AJ White Limited. Any of you guys know what that is? Let me know. Well, I've just dug this bad boy out. I have no idea what that is. It almost looks like a glass fountain pen. Could be wrong there. Looks like an old pen. What's your guys' thoughts in it? Is that an old glass pen? Glass or plastic? One of the two. It's got something wrote on it. Yeah. Countess, it says on it. There you go, Countess pen. I'll look that up, see if I get a wee date for that. Well guys, check this beauty that's come out. John Mackay & Co. Fermented Ginger Beer Glasgow. Woohoo! Lovely ginger. Get in. Got to be more down there by the way. I love it when something like that comes out. Absolutely amazing. Woohoo! Smashed. Well guys, I'm going to call it a day for this video. We're going to make part two now. And I'll catch you guys in part two. Good luck, happy hunting, and I'll see you in part two. Bye for now.